as far as when the nitrous came in, when the boost came in, and the car didn't, if I was going zero mile per hour, so nothing more. Once you made that turn, the timer. And then it was like, once it hit, it was gone. <laughs> How fast? All right, guys. So my wife's driving the car at a half mile event. She's never driven the car before. She's never driven a car over 110 miles an hour before. So um, the half mile airstrip attack deal is a grooved concrete surface and a runway. Uh, she had commentated for these guys in 2018 and ever since then had a goal of going 200 mile an hour and a half. So it's a pretty neat deal. You get a 200 mile an hour t-shirt. There's only been I believe five females to ever go 200 mile an hour in a two wheel drive car there before and the fastest Mustang half mile is only 210 miles an hour. So we got some achievable goals there. Uh, first thing I wanted to do to work towards that was to build a rear wing. Now I'm not an aerodynamicist by any means. I know it's a decent amount of theory and I also don't do some sheet metal work. I think the wing turned out all right. Uh, from there we move on to building a new engine for it. All right, so six weeks to go, my block finally shows up. I had ordered rods and pistons for this thing in March and hadn't got them yet either. So later this week, uh, the rods and pistons showed up. Uh, we go through the block. So when I, I haven't built an engine for myself in like eight years. Um, so obviously I build engines for a living, but um, I'd been running the stock one in my car for so long that I just hadn't had a need to until we met our goals with this, um, with the stock engine, which we had done. So here's the new concept of this one. It was all hands on deck here. My dad even showed up to help me work on the thing, which was awesome. Uh, when I build an engine for myself, I typically try things that I wouldn't normally do in a customer's engine. I try to use products that I haven't used before so I can test them out before I try to promote them. A good example of that is a few things here. These boost line connecting rods, I have never used them before. Uh, the dual timing chain setup from MMR on the cylinder head side of stuff, i would never used before. I'm using their billet tensioners, which I hadn't used before. Another big item on there I hadn't used was the head gasket. This is an SCE Vulcan cut ring head gasket. Um, I've had customers that have used them but never directly hands-on. I have no direct hands-on experience with these gaskets. So handful of things we're trying with this thing uh, to see how it goes. So far, so good, as you'll see at the end of the video here. Um, but uh, yeah, it's always cool building an engine for myself. It had been a while. Here I am struggling to put the header back on the car, which weighs probably, I don't know, 75 pounds or something because it's crazy big. Uh, so that was a bit of a struggle, but we got it together, got it in there, and eventually got the thing fired up. And then uh, we put it on the dyno for a couple hits before we go to a track for a test session. Uh, same boost level, this was 14 pounds. The new setup made about 70 wheel more than the stock engine did. The biggest things there for power production was a little bit of port work, the custom set of comp camshafts we developed with them, and then a point lower in static compression ratio. Next step was go to the track, make a test hit on this thing. Somewhere between the dyno session and the test session, we got Jesse fit in the car, adjusted belts, moved the gas pedal, that kind of thing. So that was a nice, cool uh, 9 PSI leave, 29 PSI up top, 1 in 8, 74, 165 mile an hour, which is a new personal best mile an hour. And the next day after that, Jessie sprained her ankle severely. Check this out, right? Like I thought she was just being a baby, and then I saw her foot. <laughs> but uh, so she had to wear a boot and ride around on a, like a little knee scooter thing in preparation for this. So we had to refit her in the car with the boot on. And then she still hadn't driven the car at this point. So the next step was to get the car prepped for her, change rear gear, add 85 pounds of static weight to the rear axle for some traction aid, and get her to just drive the car through a parking lot, if nothing else. So here's Jesse's first run. Now you guys are probably thinking, man, she's only driven the car in the parking lot is her first time and the thing didn't go over 30 mile an hour. A couple other things she had never done before. She had never launched a car off a trans brake. 
Uh, she had never pulled a parachute before. Uh, this thing has a clean neutral trans, which means you have to put it in the, well, you don't have to, but you're supposed to put it in a neutral at the big end when you lift so you don't have a bunch of engine drag on the way down handful of things she'd never done before she'd never driven a car over 110 mile an hour uh, should give you a little quick reference she did do a lot of kart racing when she was younger but uh, you know that was a good 15 20 years ago now uh, so yeah definitely a new experience for her I kept thinking she was gonna be nervous and she stayed surprisingly calm this is her first run here uh, she goes through the motions very well, and after this, she never asked me a single question about operating the car. She just got in every time and made a hit and came back and asked me to turn it up and go faster. So, yeah, she was uh, definitely just crazy impressive. I was super impressed with how she did with everything. Eighty-seven, eight best. Timothy Ward in the X3M, in a best of one forty-seven five. And here comes Jessica, no slouch at all. Clear out, and then it was like once it hit, it was gone. <laughs> How fast did you go? I went one hundred and eighty-six point four something miles an hour. Mmm, cool. Car feel good? Yeah, yeah, something different. It looks really bumpy out there from here. You don't feel them. Yeah. No, well, I mean it dances quite a bit, but you don't feel them. Yeah, good. You gonna stay on the trans brake longer this time? Yeah, I'm gonna try. <laughs> You're doing great. I know these so names creative. are great. I know. We got Jessica Hassing coming up next. 1500 horse. Going right around the ship yeah, sector taxi. All right, so going on our fourth hit here, trying to get that 200 mile an hour mark. 191 our best so far. I turned it up a bit for this. This is our first time at uh, 33 pounds here. So this is around 1800 flywheel with a super slow ramp into power, trying to make sure this thing stays planted for Jess. Um, listen to this thing through the bumps on the big end. It's pretty crazy. It had 20 mile an hour with a wheel spin up there at 200 miles an hour with a vehicle speed. So uh, yeah, just pretty crazy. She's doing a great job though. I had to cut the end of that clip off to hide all the profanity I was saying at the 199.3 mile an hour. <laughs> like really, seven tenths of a mile an hour? So we came back, we were overcoming an intercooler issue, so we pre-iced the core in the pits. We actually bent the wing struts that hit, so I straightened the wing struts out. Put her, her dad got her strapped in the car as we were pre-icing the core. We got in line at 4.30, they run till five o'clock. I put a little bit more boost in it and we went after that 200 mile an hour hit. Official streaming partner, 1320 video. Can't say enough about how great they are. Kyle and team. Check us out tomorrow for more half mile racing action live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Today's broadcast was produced by. Finally did it, 203.5 mile an hour. It only took five runs from start to finish for us to do that. Uh, that's a pretty big deal. A lot of people were telling us before we went that we were gonna struggle to get 200 and we did it in five hits. So definitely stoked about that. Uh, our goals for next time are gonna be 215 to 220. I think we could do 210 right now just by ramping power in a little bit sooner. And I believe we've got 150 to 200 horsepower on tap. So here's some photos of Jesse before and after her and her dad carding and stuff, pretty cool. She's gonna kill me for posting that first photo there of her in her fire suit when she was a kid. But uh, yeah, 
cool stuff had a great time these events are really cool if you ever get a chance to attend one i'm going to do some more videos detailing more about the engine combination and uh, more about some of the data logs and the data we gathered from the half mile events and uh, how we can improve that those will come out in the next couple weeks so look out for them